Hey there, welcome to my tutorial on how to create a business card with CorelDRAW. Now there's two things I have to know before we begin. One is, I'm Dutch. I live in Europe and that means I use the metric system. And two, because I'm Dutch, I'm going to use the same system for creating a business card, which means that the sizes and measurements of the business card in the United States will be different than the one in Europe. So, now that we have that out of the way, we can start making our business card. Now, here's a logo of a company called Brickwave. They deal with selling houses, apparently, mm, whoever knows. So, the first thing we have to do is we're going to make a square that will be our business card. We're going to input the measurements right here. And for me, the measurements are 85 millimeters wide and 55 millimeters high. Yep, that's our business card. Now, the logo I have is actually a PNG file. It's not a vector file. But that's okay for now, um, since I'm just showing it to you. So I'm just gonna make this smaller so that it actually fits on the business card. As well as move it up. There we go. A little bit smaller. I like to put the logos somewhere at the top left, top right. Never exactly in the middle and big, because for a logo like this, stretching it out, it still doesn't make it that big. So you might as well just make it a little bit smaller and put it in the corner. About right here is fine. Now, the last thing you need to do is, well, since this is a logo, then they have their own, um, I'm sorry, since I'm Dutch I don't quite know the word for it in English. I think it's called a, a corporate identity, I think. Anyway, since the logo uses two colors, which is gray and red, we'll be using two colors for a business card as well. Now, since there's a red line underneath here, I'm going to utilize that by making a red line at the bottom for me as well. So I'm just going to make it that red. There we go. Fill it in with the red color. Now, now I'm just going to crop it inside of here. Remove that line around it. And there we go, we already have a line. Well, now I want to actually have a line at the top as well, so I'm just going to move this here. Duplicate that, make that about... I think that might be 40% gr black. Maybe 50. Well, let's just do 40. 40 is fine. So, line it at the top. And there we go, we now have two bars, top and bottom, and they fit with the colors of the logo. Let's move this up a little bit. Now, for a business card, of course, you're going to have to put your own information on it, so let's start inputting some text. Now, I'm just going to make up my own information, so um, let's say name, last name. Of course, I'm going to make to make this smaller. That's about right. Let's put this over here. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm going to turn this into gray, so that it at least fits with the entire color. And now for the information, such as address, so street name 123. Let's make this smaller again so that it fits. And of course, the same color. Uh, since I'm Dutch, uh, we also have different systems for street names and stuff, so I'm going to do it the Dutch way. So right now we have to do the postal code, so I'm just gonna say 1234 AA, and it is located in Amsterdam. Now, what you want to add to your business card is your phone number, your email, and maybe even your mobile number or your fax number. So I'm just gonna add phone number. I'm gonna add a T, which stands for telephone, which is what we use in Dutch, so... Alright, telephone number will be... There you go, that's our telephone number, whatever that might be. And now we're gonna add our uh, fax number, so put an F there point and put some other weird numbers in there and of course our email address so 
put in an E and put your in your email address. So there we have it. We have our information in our business card and I'm going to add a little bit of red in here such as turning the capital letters of all the numbers red so that it actually stands out a bit. Now, this is actually a decent sized business card. It does what it needs to do. It shows your information, your name, and of course your logo, and it displays the, the colors of your logo. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of extra, and that is by using this little house that's in the logo. I'm going to repeat that somewhere in the card because, well, people will remember symbols more than the do names. So I'm just gonna copy this real fast. Let's draw over it. Mind you, I'm not gonna make it perfect, perfect. And we add a little chimney at the top. And there we have it. We made our little house. So I'm just gonna enlarge this house and I'm going to put this at the bottom right to fill up this blank white space. Of course I have to make it fit right over it so that you won't see. There we go. And that is our business card. Brickwave. This seems reasonable well. Now, we're going to create our back side. So I'm just gonna duplicate the size of the square we already have. And for the back side, you can really put anything in there. I mean, it's a back side, so I like to make it very simple and uh, recognizable. So actually, I'm going to be using this again. I'm going to enlarge this. There we go. I'm going to center this in there, and it'll be really recognizable. Now, to give it a little bit of extra punch, I'm going to make this white. And I'm going to make the background red. Now that red is a little bit too red as it pops out a bit too much. So I think I'm just going to put a gradient in there instead. So let's pick a darker red. That red is fine. And it goes to normal red. And there we go. We have a simple backside of our business card. So there we have it. We have our business card, front side and the back side. So that all that was all there is. And of course, if you're going to print this, you're going to need um I think it's called bleeding in English. That means that this will actually have to look more like this when you're sending it to a printing company because when they cut off the paper in the business card sides well, if you leave it like this, then you're going to have white edges around your business card. So you need the bleeding in order to have the color all the way to the edge of the card. Anyway, so this is one business card. I'm going to show you how to make another one. So let's just minimize this. And here it is. We'll be using this logo, Sonic Sound. I just made this up real fast. And um, since it's... Uh, white logo, it'll work great with a black background. So, let's just make it square again, which will be our business card. Put in the dimensions, and there we go. So, I'm going to make this smaller. Fits in the business card. I'm going to make it a little smaller, again. Now, this can work either way in the middle, or even top right, maybe top left, maybe smaller, yeah, smaller like that, maybe a little bit bigger, there we go. 
Now to make this pop out right away, I'm just going to adjust the background color real fast. This is going to be gradient of black, pure black, to light gray. And I'm going to make it radial. There we go. So now we have those colors popping out nice and... Yeah, just nice. So, um, Sonic Sound, let's input some information again. I think I am just going to... Nah, never mind. I was going to copy the other one, but I'm just going to make up my new one. So we're going to do street name. Let's make this white so we can at least see it. Street name, one, two, three. Or let's just make this green. I think this is the green I used. There we go. Make it smaller, and I think I'm going to put this at the bottom. And put stripes in between them. So... Fax number... whatever that was. Great. Why is that turn on? That's just so annoying. And we're gonna put the website in it. Make it a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna make all of this mm, align to force justify so that it aligns together. Center it. And I think I'm gonna do something with these stripes I made. I'm just gonna turn them white. There we go. Now, since I have all this information down there already, I think I can enlarge the logo to be around this size. That seems to be a fine size. Center it. Well, since it doesn't look very centered, I'm just gonna nudge it over a bit. There we go. And we have our next business card. We have our information on it, the logo on it, and the black background. And now we have to make the back side. I'm just gonna leave the back side black. And instead of putting the logo on it, I'm gonna do what I did with the last one, and that is to use the symbol of the logo. So I'm just going to take that out of there, and paste it on there. I'm going to make it bigger so it at least stretches to the other side. And of course I'm going to center it. Now it has to fit over it. And there we go! We have our next business card! Sonic Sound, both front and back. Now you might think this is not as pretty looking as the other one, so we can go ahead and change that if you want to. So I'm just gonna add this out again. Alright, that's not good. I'm just gonna line none. So now we have our information again, and we can easily just put this in a corner, enlarge it a little bit so that we can push it up a little bit more so that we have space for this. Actually, I think I'm just gonna remove. Oh, I actually noticed that there's a typo. Nice. Didn't catch that. Beware of typos you make. You always have to second guess and 
check everything yourself again because if you send this to the printer, then you're gonna be really fucked. There we go, we can make the website a little bit bigger. And align it with the other text. Wait, that didn't align, did it? And of course not, it aligned with the stupid ad sign, so I'm just gonna push this up. And this is our second business card. And that's about it. I am sorry if I didn't explain how to do something, but I think if you watch this video on HD and in full screen, you can pretty much see what I've been doing. But it's also because I assume you do know the program Coral Draw. This is just more for the design concepts. Either way, thank you for watching.